Well, like that leads me into uh, my first song because uh, yesterday we did a wonderful little campfire jam and for the first time with the campfire jam, which is usually like a 12 bar blues jam and everybody just played solos, but uh, yesterday I thought I'd do something different and have a theme. And the theme was uh, songs about musicians, uh, songs I wrote about musicians. Easy for me to say because I've written dozens of songs about musicians. It's about the only thing I write about, musicians, venues. I wrote a song about the ghost of Clinton's Tavern. I got Long and McQuaid in a song. I got, you know, I, it seems like I'm just writing about what I know. That's what they say, write about what you know. And that's uh, what I know. And uh, now uh, there was one tune I wanted to play as part of the campfire because it's about a musician I got to work with and uh, what a, a pleasure it was. Well, yes, it was a pleasure. I'm not going to uh, taint it, but uh, it was crazy. Three weeks in Germany and Czech Republic, Switzerland, and uh, just uh, nonstop, one gig after another, and it was backing up Kathy McDonald. And I got to play with Long John one time. Kathy played with him for 20 years, and uh, she was a big part of his show. And uh, she was, you know, your classic larger than life person. And uh, I, I won't tell the whole story, it's kind of in the song. So uh, let's uh, see if I can. Uh... And these, are, these tunes are not ones that were part of my regular, my regular repertoire, but hey, what the hell, it's winter folk. It's time to try something different. She was only 19 When she hooked up with Ike and Tina A skinny white chick With a voice that could fill the room When she took to the stage gonna raise the roof and everybody in the band thought she was bulletproof Cruising for a bruising And she thought she 
she was bolded, thought she was bolded, thought she was bolded. Yeah. And it's kind of sad, you know, because we were going to write this song together. She, we, she, I don't know if Bulletproof, no, that wasn't her idea, but that was so true about Kathy McDonald. But we were going to write the song. We had like one little session in a hotel, maybe a couple of times. We started it, and then the tour was over, you know, and she was back in Seattle. I was back in Toronto. And, uh, it, and then, sadly, within a year, she had passed away. So uh, that song uh, got kind of, uh, took a side trip, and I wrote it about her. And uh, people still love Kathy McDonald. You find these tributes all over the YouTube and stuff. Etta James said Kathy McDonald was her favorite singer. So another story. Brian Blaine and his story songs. I'll try to keep the stories trim, though. You know, 45 cent is uh, pretty quick goes by fast. Thanks to the great artists that played before me, I love the discovery aspect of Winterfolk, you know? You're always going to hear somebody you've never heard before. Anybody here never heard Brian Blaine? No. <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm not a discovery artist. But uh, here's a, look, here's a, here's a tune I wrote, talk about discovery. I did that DNA ancestry thing. And I'm an adopted kid, so it was of extra interest to me. And uh, when it finally, after a year, it was detective work, you know, the ancestry was not, it pointed us in one general direction, which was Northern Ontario. And then things narrowed down a bit to like, it was, I'm one of these five sisters up around Timmins was one of my birth mother. And then uh, my friend Margaret Stowe, uh, intrepid uh, detective type mentality, uh, she got on board. She's going and reading the, you know, back issues of the Sudbury Star or whatever, and she tracks down what she thinks is going on, is, is my birth mother, and it's one of these five sisters. And then out of those five sisters, one name, a cousin or something, had popped up in the DNA, and so I had reached out, and we had a little contact, and she said, you know, there's a family reunion happening this summer, so I'm going to bring this up. And uh, she went to the family reunion, and she said, there's this guy, Brian Blaine. <laughs> you know, I think he's related to us, but we don't exactly know who. And uh, so and now there's, all, all the sisters have passed away, but uh, now there's a lot of daughters and grandkids and everything, and they're all, uh, some are more interested than others. And one particular woman says, absolutely not. There's no way my mother could have had a child out of wedlock and I wouldn't know about it, you know. And, uh, and <laughs> she was the one, and she was so sure about it, she went and paid like hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a real professional DNA between me and her. And it comes back 99%. So, so I get, I get a, I get the first. So uh, I, the first message I get from her is like six words, you know. I, you know, I hello. I think we're related or something. And then uh, we go back and forth a little bit, and then we were, you know, starting to correspond. Then we did some FaceTime, and then I'm going to go to Victoria and visit her, and then sadly, she dies, you know. Like, uh, let's not depress everybody, Brian. <laughs> but I got a song out of it. And I got a fabulous nephew out there in BC. And we, we do FaceTime all the time. He's a musician. She was a mother. A single mom making do. Simpsons. She's the mother I never knew. Someone to lean on. She was there to help you work things through. Spend her life helping others. She's the mother I never know. 
she was never angry. And she calmed you down if you were. Always ready to listen. And your secrets are safe with her. And she loved music. Sitting back watching the news Always rooting for underdogs That's the mother I never know And it's been beautiful to learn these things Hope she knew how she was loved the family for the memories that showed me who she was. A kind-hearted woman. A person of very deep faith. Only thinking of others. Some might even call her a saint. But she was just a mother, a single mom making do, working at Simpsons. She's the mother I never knew. She's the mother I never knew. She's the mother I never knew. song a lot at home, but I guess when there's energy in that room, I, I got emotional. I feel a little emotional. <laughs> Let's play something lighthearted. <laughs> and hope that this doesn't have a sad ending. <laughs> Excuse me if I can't recall your name. All day just thinking havoc on my brain. But there's one real left in this movie. And you can have a leading role. But go easy on me, honey. I'm not 50. says they'll sign me if I'm prepared to hit the road but I don't get out of them blizzards I can't lift them heavy loads but if it's a short itinerary if we can keep it close to home if we go easy on the honey I'm not 50 
Is everybody having a pretty good time in winter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's today warmed up and it's just beautiful getting around and the yeah. venues have been great. The production has been excellent. Thank you very much to some guy. I didn't even get your name, but uh, appreciate it a lot. And uh, what do we got here? Okay, it's time for a commercial. I used to work in the advertising business. That's why my songs are all like two minutes, three minutes, and uh, mostly don't have a bridge or an intro or anything. And uh, it's because I wrote quite a few jingles in my, in my youth. Of course, now I'm totally against advertising. It's just corrupt. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to advertise the Toronto Blues Society. I'm the editor of the newsletter, The Maple Blues. Have you had anybody <laughs> reading The Maple Blues? I've been doing that for so many years. Wow. And uh, now uh, I wrote this little ditty. Uh, it, this was uh, for uh, an, an AGM. This was the song I played at the AGM. Got a gun to my head, a dead line right in my ass. Everybody's expecting me. I tell them yes, yes, yes. Please don't think I'm complaining. It's the life I choose. And life wouldn't be so sweet. Without the maple blues I got a proofreading woman Mama don't miss a thing A volunteer army A well-oiled machine Have you renewed your subscription? Life wouldn't be so sweet without the maple blues. Wow, I put lighter strings on my guitar and it feels great. to anyone after the pandemic when you can hardly play your guitar. Put some lighter strings on. You'll be happy you did. I get a call in the morning from a blues musician down east. He wants to be on the cover he wants a thousand word piece. Well, let me talk to the tall guy. Is there a pick we can use? Cause life wouldn't be so sweet without the maple blues. I said life wouldn't be so sweet without the maple blues. Society. They're going to come to the table at the back. Oh, not. <laughs> Sharon here was a stalwart of the Toronto Blues Society for so many years. And next to her, Janet is the listings coordinator for the <laughs> magazine. And uh, there's still uh, some blues fans left in this town, you know. And oh, yeah. uh, blues has diminished a little bit. <laughs> But, uh, you know, the blues will never die. It just seems to go in cycles, you know. And that's why I've uh, transferred over more folky than bluesy. But uh, before I die, I wouldn't mind having a martial anthem and a big band. And... I can't even do it anymore. <laughs> this was my 
reach outreach to uh, the world music community. I thought maybe I could be a world music artist, but old white get bearded guys is not fitting in so much, you know, in the world music. But uh, I had a chance to uh, bring, invite, I met a chora player. I've met a few chora players in my time, and I love the chora. And uh, so one of them, uh, I worked it out uh, that when he was in town, he came and he worked on this recording. And uh, it, it's about the water crisis in Africa. That's what I was thinking of at the time. There's a water crisis around the corner practically all the time. But uh, this is my water song with a kind of an Afro vibe, world vibe. so cursed. Children starving, she's praying for rain. Village war brings more hardship and pain. There's water yonder, but nothing for her. A cry in the desert, can you hear her? Don't you want to know? She's swept. Baby crying in the dark of night Mother desperate with no help in sight Hide the child so they won't be found No turning back, village burned to the ground well, they killed her son and they raped her daughter And it's been days since she's had a drink of water Dolly Waterloo She swept Dolly Waterloo Scat, there's water in the sink, but half the time it's not safe to drink. It's no wonder things have gone so wrong with the water protectors all beaten down. Well, it's come to haunt us and it's gonna get worse when the so called civilized world is dying of thirst. Dummy, what a look. one that's on the new album. I've got three copies of it in the sleeve of my guitar case, but uh, in fact, I know, nobody buys CDs anymore, so never mind. <laughs> in fact, you know, if you've got a CD swap, I would do that too. You know, I'm just glad to get the music out there. Here's one. Uh, I worked with Gary Kendall on that CD, and he had a he brought in all the guys from Downchild Blues Band, and uh, we uh, we did. Uh, this is one of the tunes we did. Oh, am I gonna remember it? Got to 
shake his head. Got to know him in person. Got to understand. Got to feel his presence. And everything was okay. But then I awakened. When I heard him say, You are also his son. He is in us both. God is the spirit. And you are the host. got a lot of play on Jazz FM. Uh, when Ross Porter was there, I saw him, like, uh, I said, Ross, you've been playing that track of mine for a year, you know, and they're like, that's great, thank you so much. And he said, well, Brian, you know, once it's in the computer, <laughs> somebody has to take it off the computer, you know. But uh, <laughs> I wrote this song, about, it's about my time in the Eastern Townships. I could do a whole set about the Eastern Townships. I could do a whole set about the musicians I've known and loved. And uh, I got, and I seem to have things boxed in a bit like that, but this is my township song for you. Anybody here from the Eastern Townships? Ah, okay, that's how many. <laughs> and let's see if I remember this one. It's a sob story, what a sob story, just a sob story about a girl in a car, driven to distraction, I don't know where to turn, going round in circles, when will I ever learn, don't ask me why I make the same mistake again and again. And again, it's a soft story. What a soft story! Just a soft story about a girl in a car. I was out there alone in the land of the forgiven when I ran into a fella from the town I used to live in. He's full of stories, what was going on last year But there's only one I want to hear So I asked him kind of casual What about that girl with the uh, sob turbo convertible? He said, oh, she's still living up there alone Alone? How could that be? 
beautiful girl like that. It's a soft story. What a soft story. Just a soft story about a girl at a car. The wonderful Richard Bell played a piano solo on this part. I can hear him now. right or I was wrong but it's a soft story what a soft story just a soft story about a girl and a car soft story about a girl and a car soft story about a girl Can somebody drop a pin? I just, I just want to, it's a beautiful thing. It's a gift. And it's time for another commercial. How does this one go? A public service announcement. century ago you couldn't get a drink because of some Puritan convictions and now we celebrate the end of one more prohibition have a talk have a talk whatever is hurting you'll feel better for certain with a smoke you can't sleep you don't eat You tried the medication Why not have a hit of weed? Have a toe Have a toe Whatever is hurting You'll feel better for a certain real smoke Have a toe. 
Yeah, you'll be glad to recover from a stroke. <laughs> All right. Winterfolk continues to include a lot of blues in the program. Blues is folk music. Here's one by Alan Wolf. Yeah. Well, she's hot like red pepper, sweet like cherry wine. I'm so glad you love me, love me all the time. She's my little baby, sweet as she can be. Well, it all belongs to me. And if you hear me howling, howling for my darling, I won't hear you. Overqualified 
description, but everybody remembers Fraser and DeBolt. Alan Fraser is still making fabulous music. He sat in on the campfire yesterday, and for a year now, we've been to collectively trying to learn this jazz number. I'm going to leave you with it, and uh, I, I wanted to even kind of make it my theme song, you know, but uh, black cats creeping across my path nearly drives me mad. I must have wrought the devil's wrath Cause all my luck is bad I make a date for golf And you can bet your life it rains I try to throw a party And the guy upstairs complains I guess I'll go through life Just catching colds and missing trains Everything happens to me I never miss a thing I've had the measles and the mumps And every time I play an ace My partner always trumps I guess I'm just a fool Who never looks before he jumps Everything happens to me First I thought my heart could break this spell for me That love would do the trick to end despair But now I've got this head that just can't think for me I've mortgaged all my castles in the air I telegraphed and phoned Sent an airmail special too. Your answer was goodbye, and there was even postage due. I fell in love just once, and it had to be with you. Everything happened. Thank you very much.